What is good guys, RepKicks here, we're back at it again. We got another Kick Who God Killer pair. This is Kick Who's God Killer Jordan 4 Breads. Who doesn't love a good pair of breads? And Kick Who is one of the best sellers all around when it comes to any sneakers, but their Jordan 4s are actually really superb compared to others. I mean, this is a really great pair. I had another batch, LJR batch. It was pretty decent, but I have to say the overall build and quality of these Kick Who God Killer pair is super, super nice. If you've been following my channel or the rep game, you know who Kiku is. They're one of the largest sneaker sellers in the game, the most famous seller that's ever done it. They sell God Killer Batch, and their pairs are insanely good. They specialize in Kobe's, Jordan 4's, everything. They're a one-stop shop, so definitely check Kiku out. Use that discount code, and now let's stop chatting and get right into it. Everybody's got to have a nice pair of Jordan 4's. I've been using Kiku for a while, and every single pair pair of Jordan 4s that I've got from them has been superior to other Jordan 4s that I've gotten from other sellers so I said I'm definitely going to go with Kiku for these and check it out tell me if I'm wrong this pair is super high quality the materials just like always are really superb it's got a really nice black upper right here this material is super high quality and nice you can see that nice black material on the whole upper is beautiful it's the correct color it doesn't feel like cheap crummy new buck or materials at all it's got a really nice build to it you can see the overall shape is really really nice the toe box shape is great you don't have too thick or boxy of a toe box it's really got that nice shape and you can see the little curve on the tip of the toe there the midsole's nice and sturdy you don't really have the midsole flaw on rep fours like you do on dunks and jordan ones i mean they're not it's not really that bad on jordan ones and stuff but with the fours you never have to worry about it nice clean midsole the paint strokes on the midsole are really incredibly clean look at that you can barely even see the paint strokes, and if you do, look how nice and straight and even and clean they are. And then it's got the white midsole with the air bubble unit, so that is a functioning, working, real air bubble unit. If you press on it, you feel the nice resistance, you hear that? That's the air in there. It's got the same technology as retail. The white midsole, and then you got the red on the heel. Then it comes up to the gray midsole on the front, so this is the gray rubber midsole all the way around the front of the shoe with the gray stitch in the front you can see that and then it's got the red stars even the most tiniest simple detail they get right you could even see the small little details in the gray on the midsole there which is incredible the wings are good they're placed perfect you can see it covers the top lace hole like it should you have the little waffle pieces where the laces go through if we come over to the side you can see the wings placement again is perfect we come up to the cage it's got a nice sturdy cage you know it's not that cheap crumb crappy cage you know it's nice and sturdy correct cage it's on an angle like it should be it's got the black material underneath it so this is the cage close up for you guys as well as the toe cage so that is good all the small details like the stitching the leather cuts I mean it can't get any cleaner than this I'll give you a close-up you can see all the stitching from the back as it comes underneath the wings usually stitching on rep 4 a lot of times it'll be sloppy the little rectangle under the wings could get sloppy as well as the stitching around the cage but look how clean the stitching is really nice around the cage and then as it comes up to the toe you can see how good that stitching is we already talked about the material the material is really high quality i've had retail of these and i can tell you they use the exact same materials from the outside you can see the gray sock liner it's like a really light gray sock liner which looks good matches the little lace pieces you can see the tongue from the outside i mean it's just an incredible pair come around to the inside you know we don't have to drag it out too long because it's exactly the same as the other side except for you don't have that big gray midsole piece here you have the longer black midsole which looks good the white midsole the air bubble unit and that is the gray midsole on the front with the stars there so this is the inner side i'll show you the stitching on this side just as clean as the other side so this is way past a green light pair this is a superb pair so that's the right shoe the left shoe same thing I'll just show it to you real quick. You can see the overall shape is beautiful. Same clean midsole, toe box shape, all the stitching, the materials, really incredible. 
I think this is way better than the LJR batch I have. Just by holding it in your hand, you could feel that the materials that they used are really incredible quality. The build is great, and it's just an all-around great rep. The reps have gotten so good, I'm telling you, you really don't ever have to pay resell ever again. So this is the outer side of the left shoe. I'll just give you a quick look at each side so we can move on. Wings, cage, toe box, the overall shape. You can see the midsole looks really, really good. Come around the front of the midsole, you have the stars, the stitch, there's the front, and then the inner side exactly like the other side. I wanna show you the sole now. I'll flip this around. Here is the bottom of it. So it's just a regular Jordan 4 sole, nothing different, just like all the other ones. You have the red heel there, got the white, but with the red Nike logo, which you can see how nice that Nike logo is. Look at the details in that white part. Even the rest of the midsole comes up to the gray the white, and then the red stars, which you already know about. It also came with the correct orange hang tag. OG pairs come with this. I've had cheaper batches in the past come with like, you know, those clear plastic ones or a red one, which isn't correct. This is the correct one that it's supposed to come with. And with Kiku, that's exactly what you get. So that is the inner sides and outer sides. If we come around and look at the backs, the heels are perfect. There's nothing really to worry about at all. It's a regular Jordan 4 heel. You have the nice plastic heel tab there. It's got the Nike which is the perfect font. The air is the perfect font. You can see how nice and straight those air are. You don't want them to be crooked at all. The seam is dead center in the middle. The eye lines up with the seam in the middle there. And then you can see the stitching on the back of the heel tab. And then we'll come up to the top of the heel tab, which these are really defined and nice. If we look at the shape of the heel, the little shape that makes this U cut, absolutely perfect. It's not too high. Some lower tier batches, they'll be a little too high, which you don't want. So the backs look really, really good. The double stitch, the top of the heels that are behind here is a really nice shape. You can see the back of the tongues, midsoles nice and clean. There's no glue stains at all on this whole shoe. I really do not see any glue stains or any major glue stains on either of the sides. If we take a look at this, this is the stupidest trend I've ever seen on TikTok and stuff like that. But the kids like to see, they think this means that they're fake if this doesn't happen like this. But if you pull this back, it does flat back. Stupidest trend, but people like to see that. So we'll come around and look at the fronts. So here is the fronts. You can see it's got the nice black toe strap around the front there. Got the gray midsole with the gray stitch. We already looked at the toe box shape, but I'll put them side by side together for you. Really perfect toe box shape. You can see it's got that nice curve to it right here as it comes to the front. And it kind of comes to like a little bit of like a point kind of circle there, but it's a perfect toe box shape. You couldn't get any better than that. It comes up to the cage here so the same cages that are on the side there you have the cages on the front now on rep fours a lot of times the toe cages will be really big or a little bigger than retail but these ones are actually really really good the reps have really been working on that and making the pages smaller and on this pair the cage is not big and look really really good so check that out nice sturdy cage so the cage starts down here by the toe just like all the other Jordan fours and comes all the way up here so the whole tongue is a cage and then it comes up to the top of the tongue. So both of them look good. It comes laced up with black laces right out the box. It didn't come with any extra laces. I don't really want them to, or I don't even think retail does, but it does come with the flat black laces, which we'll leave in. Then it comes up to the tongue, which is an all black nubuck tongue, the same material as the upper. And then it's got the black tag with the red Jumpman and the white flight. I have a friend who has retail of these and I showed him the tongue tags and he compared it to his retail breads. And he told me that they're spot on and perfect that the tongues can't get any better so there's the tongue you got the jump man the flight logo the red jump man looks really really good both the tongues look great they're nice and even the shapes of the tongue are good it's tied really tight i mean you can see how tight the factory casing is but when you loosen it up you'll get a better shape to the tongue from the sides of the tongue look good so we're gonna turn the flash on now so we can look at the insole and sock liner so if we come to the sock liner, it's a gray sock liner, regular Jordan 4, regular material sock liner. It's like a really light gray, which is correct. Back of the tongue's the same material, but it's red. And then it's got the upside down Air Jordan tag, which is correct. Come and look at the inside. We'll flip it around. 
It's an all red insole with the black Nike Air on the heel, so that's exactly how it should be. The tag is kind of hard to see because it's a little further down, but that's the insole and sock liner of the right shoe. And then the left shoe, it's the same thing, gray sock liner, really nice shape and padding to it. Back of the tongue is also that red with the same upside down Air Jordan. And then if we come and look at the inside, all red sock liner with the black Nike Air. So the whole insole is red and nothing else on it. It comes in the regular Jordan 4 box, the black top with the red Jumpman in flight, the cement speckling on the bottom. So just a regular Jordan 4 box that we all know. There is the tag for you guys. It's got the suggested retail price. And then if you open it up, the whole inside is red with the black paper so this is like a plasticky paper instead of tissue paper which retail comes like that as well so there you have it guys the jordan 4 breads from kick who such a beautiful pair one of the all-time greatest jordan 4s to ever be made i mean everybody loves and wants one of these and if you've been looking or want one of the best rep jordan 4 breads that you could ever possibly find kick who is the go-to i mean they're one of my go-to's for almost everything i have like five Five pairs coming in from them so there's going to be a lot of reviews from them appreciate you guys and stay tuned for more peace